So how many friends do you have? How would you define friendship? Does your relationship with God have any effect on those relationships? In the book of Sirach in chapter 6, we read that one who has found a true friend has found a sturdy shelter. What a beautiful image that a friendship becomes a shelter. How many friends do you have? How many people consider you a true friend? How many friends have you had that have endured through many years? It's written somewhere beautifully, I thought, where it says that friendship is sort of like wine. You can't taste it until it's aged. And isn't that true for friendships? In the Catholic tradition, we're very blessed with a very, very rich tradition of what we call spiritual friendship. And I want to just draw your attention to that today. What is a spiritual friendship? A spiritual friendship is when two people both share that Christ is the Son of God and share the same purpose in life, which is to know and love the true God, to go to heaven is our ultimate goal, and in this life to live a life of virtue based on Christ's teachings and the church's teachings. And so we can't do that alone. But it's an amazing experience when two people share friendship in Christ. That can transform a marriage. It can bring a relationship with a child or a grandparent or even a friend to a whole different level. How does that work? We share that faith with, our, with that person. We share with them what's happening in our prayer lives, in our relationship to Jesus. We can pray with them and for them. We can really just speak about the trials and tribulations and blessings and consolations of our spiritual lives. Do you have spiritual friends? Are you a spiritual friend? Just draw your attention to think for a moment, even Jesus had them. Jesus was the Son of God, the Lord of all life, but He had particular human friendships. And we know we think of Him going to Bethany again and again to see Mary, uh, to see Lazarus, and to be together with them, to share faith. It wasn't just socializing, it was a sharing of the will of God. He shared with them the Father's will in His own heart as it was being revealed to Him. Powerful. We see throughout the Christian centuries many, many fine examples of really a consummate spiritual friendship. St. Francis and Assisi, St. Francis of Assisi and St. Clair of Assisi, amazing. A Jane de Francis de Chantal and Francis de Sales encourage you to read their correspondence with each other and you will learn what spiritual friendship can be and what it looks like. So we go back to the beginning. Do you have friends in life? I would say instead, do you have spiritual friendships in your life? Are you willing to go out into the deep as we stand by this beautiful water, Jesus asked his followers to go out into the deep. And he didn't mean just fishing. He meant in your heart that you can enter into spiritual friendship, relationship with Christ, but also in those special friendships that he wants to bless us with. I hope and pray you have many spiritual friendships. And if you don't, just go out into the deep and God will give them to you. This is Father Marcel Tyone, pastor of St. Thomas More Parish in Narragansett, Rhode Island. And you're listening to Seek and Find. Mm -hmm.